what is your opinion on the groups of muslim who protest against the closing of mosques due to coronavirus on the basis that that would imply fearing other than allah the question posed is that what is my view regarding those muslims who are protesting against the closure of the mosques in different parts of the world and they are saying that you are fearing others more than allah as far as i am concerned i am against those people who go to extreme la taglu fi dinukum do not commit excesses in your deen as far as the guidance given by the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the prophet clearly said in sahih bukhari in various hadith which i discussed in my previous sessions that when you know of an epidemic of a plague in a particular land don't go to that land and if you are in that land don't leave that land very sadid the prophet said if you see a leper if you see a leper run away from him as you have seen a lion so all these hadith say that we should stay away from contagious diseases but the prophet said tie your camel and trust in god now what we have situation as for the group of people who are against the closure of mosques we'll discuss that later on what if you see the different scenario world over of muslim countries the first muslim country i won't take its name the first muslim country that openly announced that they are going to shut the mosque because of coronavirus in that country there was not a single death due to coronavirus there were few hardly about 40 50 positive cases of coronavirus covid-19 as a precaution they closed the mosque in complete country many muslim scholars objected and within a few days many muslim countries all over the world followed it i am not against closing the mosque to protect yourself from covid-19 if it's a requirement but don't go overboard to give a statement that you should fear allah and no one else is not correct because the prophet was the person who feared allah much more than us he said run away from a leper as we have seen a lion he said when you know of a plague don't enter that city if you are in that land don't leave that land these are precautions we trust in god but we have to tie a camel but what we see that some of the muslim country were over precautions they're not tying the camel they are strangulating the camel in some countries when there is not even a single case of coronavirus covid-19 they shut the mosque this is nonsense if there is a case where the cases are many and many people are infected there are people who have died and then you close the mosque after taking guidance from the medical experts and islamic scholars only hearing the medical experts who don't know about the deen who don't know about the religion that how important it is to pray in the mosque you cannot take that advice quran says first alu al zikri in kuntum la ta'lamun that if you don't know as the person is knowledgeable surah nahl chapter 16 was 43 and surah anbiya chapter 21 was number 7 so there should be a striking balance so if the infection has spread quite a lot and you think that opening the mosque will really cause many more people to be infected not just being over precautious so there should be a striking balance between the two so those people who are not bother about prevention and telling that we should have faith in allah they are wrong and those people who are over precautious and closing it beforehand even they are wrong so we should not commit excesses in your religion allah says in the quran la taglu fi dinukum do not commit excesses in your religion so in isa chapter 4 verse number 171 so my view is that even if you take precautions as i mentioned my earlier answer take precautions you can take a sajada you can take a musalla a prayer mat wear mask hand sanitization can be done do wudu at home spend the least time in the mosque uh, go to the uh, restroom in your house don't shake hands read the sunnah salah before the farz salah at home after the farz salah sunnah at home take all these precautions and continue till you think it is possible when you think it is really required to close and then you close i have got no objection but don't be over precautious and when the thing subsides also open it as soon as possible 
if you take precaution and, and proper guidance, having a proper session with the health authorities and the Islamic scholars in consultation and then taking the decision, it's correct. But just taking a decision to please the world or to please the other people or to say, no, I will continue praying, this is not Islamic. So don't commit excesses, follow the middle path.